What's up GITV, Mark here, and we'll be taking a look at the new G&G Predator. Now G&G has been well known to provide high quality, high performance, affordable airsoft guns in the market. The G&G Predator is no different. Starting from the rear of the gun, this gun will be featuring G&G's collapsible stock with adjustable lengths in addition to a built-in storage space for cr 123 batteries and small treats. Now moving towards the center, this gun features a full metal upper and lower receiver, but with a few additions and a few accents to change the overall look of the body. Now on this body, you're going to be noticing that there are a few ambidextrous features making it easier whether you're transitioning from left to right or if you're a right hand or left hand dominant shooter. These features include an ambidextrous fire selector in addition to magazine release. The grooved pistol grip and contour design allows the grip to be much more comfortable and much more ergonomical to the shooter. Now moving towards the front of the gun, you're going to be featuring a very slim and lightweight aluminum front assembly. This assembly contains key mod rail segments on 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 6 o'clock position to allow a different sense of modularity, especially if you only want certain rail segments at certain spots. Now at the very front of the gun, with a proper outer barrel and flash hider, it lays flush and also provides a very unique and aggressive design. Now moving on to the top portion of the gun, you're going to be noticing that it's a monolithic style upper rail. This houses the front and rear iron sights, but in addition to an uninterrupted surface, you can match your optic to have the proper height as well as distance for proper eye relief. Now this gun features GNG's new ETU electronic trigger unit and a built-in MOSFET. Now with this MOSFET and electronic trigger system, it allows the gun to be programmed whether in semi, or full auto or burst and full auto is your choice and can be easily switched back to its original settings. Now the drivetrain components that's consisted within this gun features G&G's 18,000 RPM standard torque motor, G&G steel heat treated gear sets, polycarbonate piston, polycarbonate piston head. Now one of the few upgrades I do like about G&G's new ETU or new system is going to be having a micro switch unit. The micro switch unit provides a more definitive and positive response after pulling the trigger. Now to further stabilize the gears, this gun will feature Gingy's well-known popular 8mm brass bushings. Now these are much more stable compared to plastic bushings or polymer bushings that wear down quickly as the gun rotates and cycles over time. Now the Gingy Predator is scheduled to be released on airsoftj.com late October, early November. Now during that time, the final product and specs may change. Now when the Predator is officially released, there will be two different models, the standard AEG version and the combo version. The combo version consists of the gun in addition to the battery and charger. Now the standard AEG model will be going for around $315 and the combo version will be going for around $330. So be sure to stay tuned to airsoftgi.com as well as gitactical.com and GITV for more details and more cool picks and product spotlights of the G&G Predator. Once again, I'm Mark from Airsoft GI. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, so here we've got the mech box of the 240 Bravo taken apart, and uh, we'll just go over everything and do a review. Um, first, we have the motor and wiring harness. It has a 22 transport armature motor with neo magnets, a micro switch, just a simple wiring harness and harness for the box mag. A very powerful output in addition to being heat and impact resistant, making it extremely efficient for the scooter. With a recharge rate of one to two hours, it provides an average fun time of 10 miles. I choose you, Pikachu! Pikachu, Pikachu! Pikachu, Pikachu! Okay. <laughs>